At first glance, maximum heart rate is fairly obvious. It's literally the maximum rate at which your heart can beat before the world starts to go all blurry and eventually black. But putting an actual number to this place of pain can be very beneficial, particularly if you want to do some serious on-the-bike training. Knowing your maximum heart rate is vitally important, as it forms the basis of pretty much every calculation that you'll need to do to work out your various fitness training zones. Going out and simply riding your bike will certainly get you fit in a very general kind of way, but knowing exactly which heart rate zone you're actually riding in will allow you to fine tune that training to give very specific benefits such as better fat burning or increasing your VO2 max for improved endurance, strength and speed. The absolute scientific method of calculating your max is to do a maximal test actually on the bike. Put very simply, you start riding, usually on a turbo trainer, and slowly ramp up the intensity until you're at your absolute limit. But then, just when you think you can't ride any more, you do an all-out sprint for as long as you can, and the number you see on your heart rate monitor just before you pass out will be your max. And no, I'm not joking, it really is that tough. A proper maximal test has the advantage of being very accurate. But as you can imagine, it's not for the faint-hearted, as it's absolutely brutal. By far the easiest method is to use the classic formula of 220 minus your age. So for me, a 49-year-old, this works out to 171 beats per minute. While this method is very quick and easy, it can unfortunately be rather inaccurate. In the past, I've used it to get a very rough ballpark figure and then fine-tuned it using my on-the-bike experiences. As it happened, 171 was quite a bit below my actual max. As I was out riding, I could see that my beats per minute were going above this, particularly when I was riding hard up a climb, so I gradually increased my maximum until I saw and felt that it was more accurate. As a result, it's now 188 beats per minute, and I'm pretty confident this is correct, because I cannot sustain this level of intensity for more than about 15 seconds without feeling like my heart is about to explode. Once you've worked out your max, you can start working out all the important training zones, and I show you how to do this in another film. So thank you for watching. And if you'd like to get the most out of your cycling, please subscribe for my regular weekly upload, where I'll be giving you all kinds of tips and tricks.